Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. In our last film, the great Ingrid Bergman played a none too pure barmaid. And to give you a sampling of her versatility, if indeed you ever doubted it, next we have her playing a character that's not just a good soul on the side of the angels, but somebody positively saintly. Our film is Joan of Arc, released in 1948 when Ingrid Bergman was the number one female star in the movie business. And now she was taking on the most demanding role of her life. It had been a long time dream of hers to play Joan of Arc, a young French farm girl of the 15th century, who despite all odds, led the French army to victory against domination by England, only to eventually be burned at the stake as a heretic. Well, several years earlier, when Ingrid had been under contract to producer David Oselznik, he planned to star Ingrid in a film about Joan's life. But to her great disappointment, that never happened. So once Ingrid was free of her ties to Selznick, she played Joan on Broadway in a play titled Joan of Lorraine by Maxwell Anderson, which became the must-see ticket of Broadway's 1946-47 season. Soon after that, she formed a production company called Sierra Pictures and made this movie version. Her producing partners, including Walter Wanger and director Victor Fleming. Fleming also directing this film about Joan of Arc as he had directed Ingrid in Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Now, Joan of Arc was planned as an epic on a scale of Gone with the Wind and became the most eagerly anticipated film of the year. But the film seemed to have been jinxed at every turn. Soon after the film's premiere, Ingrid, a married lady, fell in love with Italian director Roberto Rossellini and became pregnant, not by her husband, but by her lover. Well, the public was shocked at the news, which led many to shy away from seeing this apparently unsaintly actress playing one of history's most saintly women. So the film never did earn back its cost, it did bring, however, Ingrid an Academy Award nomination as Best Actress and introduced to the screen for the very first time Broadway actor Jose Ferrer. So we bring it to you now from 1948, Joan of Arc. <laughs>